again and welcome to the final edition of pre-training. In this video we're going to recap everything that we have picked up in the last three weeks and add what we've learned this week. In the previous weeks Ron has taught Sam to retrieve and to walk on Ron's left hand side. We'll show you the progress later on. Right now we're going to see how Sam is getting along whilst on the lead and also if he's sitting on command. First off we'll show you a few tips for getting your dog to sit on command. You may notice something here. Sam is already sitting whilst we show you this method. This is because he has already been taught this so we only use this method if your dog will not sit. See all I've done was just held him under there, pushed his bomb down here and said sit and he does. So all you have to do is just get hold on under there like that push his bomb down lift his head up tell him to sit and he does. If your dog is being disobedient then use this method as many times as you have to but always refrain from being aggressive towards your dog. Persistence is the key here. Keep repeating yourself until eventually you can do like, like I just showed you on the video Sam sit just call his name and then tell him to sit. Yeah. Now we can show you how well Sam will walk alongside Ron whilst on the lead. First of all, Ron tells Sam to sit, either by using the technique we just showed you, or if your dog knows the command, we just tell it to sit. Sam, sit. Sam, sit. Then we sit. place the lead on our dog, give a slight tug to show our intentions, and then we start walking. Sam. If you feel your dog has the same level of training and obedience as Sam, you can try what Ron is doing here. He's walking Sam on the lead and then every so often Ron will stop and then either Sam will sit or Ron will tell him to sit. And then they walk on together again. If you're having a little bit of trouble getting your dog to sit, then try these exercises separately. Work on them separately, then this will not confuse your dog. And then. When you're at Ron and Sam's standard, you can try them both together. Last week we introduced Sam to a canvas dummy and he reacted really well to this. So during this last week Ron has been building upon this. Now before we get into it we just need to clarify a couple of things. These videos are purely a guide to help you. Now bear in mind Ron is an experienced trainer and he is showing you his way of doing things. But remember everyone is different and so are the dogs. They both learn at different speeds. By all means, use Ron's method, but the time frame will be much different. Another thing to be aware of is, if you have finished with the tennis ball and have moved on to the dummy, then leave it that way. The ball was for playing, the dummy is for training, so please don't mix the two. Now because Ron has been working daily on dummy retrieval, you will see a vast improvement from last week. Ron can throw the dummy further and on occasions Sam is strong enough to carry it for longer. Also notice that Ron still has to hold Sam to stop him running out prematurely and so that Sam can watch to see the dummy land. Some people encounter the problem of their dog not coming directly back to them after they have retrieved the dummy or ball. What Ron does to encourage Sam to bring the dummy directly back to him is he bends down to the dog's level, calls his name and claps his hands and then as always when Sam does what he has been told Ron gives him praise, fuss and attention something that you must do every time you're pleased with your dog's effort. 
Over the past three or four weeks, Ron has been trying to correct a fault that Sam had picked up before we got him. He's always partial to walking on the right hand side. Now because Ron is a right handed shooter, he needs Sam to walk on the left to avoid collisions with Ron's gun whilst walking. Last week we saw a huge improvement in Sam, but at times he was getting distracted. So, Ron has a little trick up his sleeve to fix this. Ron is holding a small white piece of tissue paper in his left hand. He shows it to Sam and then he starts walking. Notice that Sam has seen this and is intrigued by it, so he keeps his attention on it. You may think this is an old trick that we've used before, and essentially it is, but since we've moved on from the tennis ball, we do not want to give Sam the wrong idea by holding that in our left hand, so we use the tissue. Hopefully you will try this technique and see the same positive results as we're seeing here with Sam and Ron. We've now reached the end of pre-training. Ron is happy with the progress that Sam has made over the past four weeks and is now ready to move forward with his serious gun dog training. To follow Ron and Sam's progress, gain weekly updates and a free gift, make sure you head over to www.bestgundog.com forward slash weekly training. And if you're training your dog along with Sam and Ron, but you're not quite at their level, then don't worry. We simply give you the techniques. So take your time and progress at the level that suits you. And when you feel that you and your dog are at this standard, please go over to www.bestgundog.com forward slash weekly training to continue your gun dog training alongside Ron and Sam. Here's a few things you can expect your dog to learn if you sign up. Thanks for watching and the best of luck to both you and your dog.